Hello once again. Hey, it's Dan down here in Virginia. I'm down in the workshop. You can see I got the Mighty Mall up on the workbench. And I uh, just wanted to share a tale. The other day, you know, this has been really bad for real high winds for the last two, three weeks. Can't fly, can't fly. The other day, we got one, one break. Last Thursday, the winds came down. It was sunny. It was 50 degrees. The winds were only four or five miles an hour at the field. It's perfect. So I was flying along with the Mighty Maul, and uh, I was on my third battery, I guess, and I come in for a landing, and wouldn't you know it, I had the perfectly timed aileron failure. Could not believe it. <clears throat> I come down, as soon as the plane touched down, I thought something looked, something kicked up out of the field. Didn't know what it was. So I turned around, and sure enough, what it was, it was this aileron right here. This aileron fell completely off the airplane. It was dangling down by the, by the control rod underneath. It was just dangling by the wire. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. What I call the perfectly timed failure. Had that happened 30 seconds beforehand, I would have been on final approach, probably augured right in. And uh, of course, out in the flight area, same thing. But it, it happened just at the moment the wheels hit the ground, this thing fell off. Well, I do check all the flight controls. I'm sure you do too. Getting good habits. I check every flight, even the uh, uh, aileron, elevator, everything before I, every flight, every flight. And um, this just boom fell down. So anyway, I got her home. Well, I didn't get her home, but I dug around in my toolbox and I found some foam tack and a little roll-up tube. I love this stuff. I'm sure you do too if you've done any glue on this foam tack. This is the latest way to buy it. They call it foam tack minis. It comes in a little tube. In fact, they call it, they call it, I see right here, called the field pack. They get six of them or so. I've got a couple I've used already, but this, a little tube, doesn't look like much. That's 0.17 fluid ounces of foam tack. So if you have this, which I did not, I had the other old tube of it with a blunt nozzle on it, but this has a real fine nozzle. You could put that aileron back up on and you squirt this down in here, a nice little line. You only have to do one side. And then I like to take, this is an old you, helicopter, guys. You see this is an old rotor shaft off a old helicopter I used to fly a little bit. I've saved it because it's a nice stiff shaft. I've got a couple of them. And you take it and you put it down in here and you drag it across the foam tack. Drag it across, roll it as you go. And there you go. I went and make sure it's sticking a little bit, tacking up. And I went and ate lunch. Took me 20 minutes, came back, and kept on flying. And so good old foam tack saved the day. And uh, what a lucky day that was for me. So anyway, hope this is a, a helpful hint. Carry some of the, All you need is one little tube of this. Last year, I don't know how long, for like crazy, a long time. I used to buy foam tack in two-ounce bottles, but it always dried up. Because it lasts well over a year. I mean, I wouldn't use it all. But so now, I've got one of these. I threw one of these in the toolbox. And I've got uh, good old um, bamboo uh, skewer. What do you call it? Skewers. They also work good in here. Run that down through there. And, then, and you're good to go. So, just uh, check your ailerons. You never know when they're going to fail as well as your other flight controls. But... Hopefully you'll have a perfectly timed failure like I had on this one. This one. Hope this helps out here.